One you certainly don't want to miss. Now from heavyweights to middleweights. Last weekend, Darren Barker successfully defended his Commonwealth title, beating Darren McDermott in Watford. And I'm delighted to say he joins us in the studio right now. Darren, welcome back. Well done uh, with that result. Uh, Honestly, done my research. Got to quickly ask, when are you going to fight Mike, Matt Macklin? Well, I think he has to defend <laughs> his title now, mandatory. I think it's by September. So Biz so, is going uh, for that. Biz will go in, yeah, and uh, get me in there against it, them. It's the kind of fight, really, that, that it's the sort of fight that, in fact, that we're going to do a little piece on this at the end of the show, Charlotte. It's a classic British fight that I really want to see happen. Because yeah. in the past, so many fights like that haven't happened, or well, they've waited until they get to world titles, and you might just lose the edge. Now, I, I think, you know, I'd love to see that fight happen by April next year because it would be absolutely brilliant. And there's loads of other fights like that, though. And, and you, know, you know, you've been around a long time. And, you know, let's, let's, you know let, let's tell the truth. Too many British fights don't happen because promoter A can't stand promoter B. Promoter A's got an exclusive deal with one channel. Promoter B's got an exclusive deal with another channel. And at the end of the day, I don't give them, you know, to be honest with you, I understand where the promoters are coming from. They've got to make the money and the TV channels have got to reap some benefit. But sometimes the boxers lose out on fantastic paydays. And also, the winner of Macklin against Barker, that's a big win, isn't it? Let's get it right, mate. Course, That's yeah. a catapult. I agree job. with you. The fight does, you know, it's got to happen ASAP. Every, you know, fight fans across the country want to see it happen. Mm -hmm. And um, I might be, it'd be a fantastic fight. He's got a good following. I've got a fantastic following. Oh, yeah. I mean, the atmosphere on Saturday night was unbelievable. At the Col so, Coliseum. At the Coliseum. So, I mean, you can imagine against Macklin. Can be... you see it happening in April as well? Or... Well, before, before April. Before April, like April yeah. yeah. A lot, you know, Oof. way before then. You know, just pray, fingers crossed, that the fight does come off. I saw little Joe Cole with you there the other day. Yeah. Is he like your mascot, isn't he? Yeah. That's yeah. a lovely little boy, isn't he? Yeah, Do you walk out holding his hands? Yeah, little, little Joe was there in the ring with you at the end. Grinding, yeah, was, I was over the moon with that. I know the guy who uh, does the fanzine and he sort of sorted oh. it out. And, yeah, it was, uh, I know that there's a pl plenty of, um, a few years ago, before they were really famous, there's plenty of Chelsea players used to go to the boxing. Yeah. I mean, you know, T Terry was a massive boxing fan. Lampard as well. I know Joe Cole was, and they used to slip in at different places. We heard that as well. But they just can't, they can't get out more. You must yeah. have enjoyed that, Joe. No, he loved it. Just normal. Tested me the next day and said, if, you know, he really enjoyed it, he loved it, and he thinks he's going to try and get a few of them to the next one, yeah. so... That's good. Don't, 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 it's funny, funny old thing really, Charlotte. At the boxing, they won't be as mired as they would if they went to a lot of other sports, a lot of other functions. They can sit down there because the boxing people go, so what, it's Joe mm. Cole. So what? Am, am I right, though? I just... Yeah, my dad didn't know he was. <laughs> <laughs> no. Does he like football? <laughs> oh, my dad, no, not really. No, he's a boxing man. But no, I like you say, I think they just let him get on with it, you know. Yeah, it's good. No, so, so listen, Macklin comes up. Let's say the purse is about September yeah. time, we hope. So will you have another defence before then, or will you try and wait for November? Race, How will it work? I mean, with me, luckily, you know, like, you know, my sparring, in, sparring for me in the gym's second to none. I've got fantastic sparring partners. So if I wasn't to fight, it wouldn't be no big deal. I mean, ticking over in the gym with the sparring. So I don't think there's a mad rush for me to fight. So. There was a text here from someone asking about Kessler, because I know you've been out sparring mm. with Kessler. This is from James in Chester, and he's yeah. talking about... Um, how you rate Kessler and should he go against Carl Foch, another guy you spar with? You, you've, had some, you've had some quality sparring, haven't you, really last good year sparring, or so? yeah. And I think it's starting to show now. But, I mean, yeah, Kez is a fantastic fighter. Um, I think with, with Mikel, it was like he does the basics really, really well. Like, really well. And, um, I mean, Carl versus uh, Mikel would be a fantastic yeah, fight. Be a big one. Oh, it'd be massive. Yeah. Now, oh, let's say you did fight uh, a Macklin. In an ideal world, where would you like to see that fight take place? Where? Yeah, oh, in an ideal world. Well, if, for me, it'd be Ali Pali, I think. Yeah, Alexandra right. Palace would be fantastic, yeah. Now, listen, there's a, there's, now, you're, kind of, you're a nice guy, Dan. I've known you a long while, and I know the way you work, and you, you know, you're know furious in the ring, but you don't do a lot of talking out of me. There was a kid on the other card the other day, Tyson Fury. Yeah. I mean, he's doing the business in the ring, don't get me wrong. We call him, we call him George Foreman, Errol, 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 um, uh, we call him all sorts of names on this show. Now, he, <laughs> he does talk yeah. a lot. Now, his, his, his latest claim is that he fancies a knockout Samuel Peter. Now, I know he talks a lot, but he, he can fight, can't he? He can fight. Big Tice. He, he's, uh, I mean, the heavyweight division sort of dominated by size these days, but, yeah. you know, we all know Tyson, he's a big fella, but he can box as well. He's got quick hands, he mixes it to the head and body really well. I mean, yeah. so, yeah, he, he, you know, I think he can back up his talking. And this, and, is, uh, this, is, this, is, this is from ITV. Thanks very much, my brothers and sisters over ITV. Because this guy, Scott Belcher, he'd only lost one, and he's about 6'7". Yeah. So what oh, you're looking at there is two guys, 169, 167. Mm. And he was up for the fight, Belshaw. He, you know, he, yeah, he really right. fancied the job, but Tyson slipped to his game plan and looked oh, fantastic. Body shot, a good yeah. body shot, isn't it? And that's, a, 
that was a great body shot, and uh, he could have followed up there, but he uh, showed a bit of composure. And, and I think he did, and he could have yeah. followed up, and I think he did show. I mean, what you see, see what you have to remember there, Shana, is those two guys. They're moving like they're not six seven and six nine. They're moving like they're just normal mm. guys, about six foot. I, I, was, I tell you what, that's, that's even more impressive Light the next thing. time I see it. Yeah. I've got a question actually for you, um, Darren, from Jimmy Boyle. He says you're a fantastic young fighter, doesn't get enough credit. He says, do you think you're ready to fight Kelly Pavlik yet? I do, he says. But do you? You know, I'd like to think um, I, I'm in their guys, them guys' leagues. Probably not right now. I mean, I, I don't think my, my career's gone perfectly. I mean, yeah. nothing's been rushed or anything. But I don't want to look too far to past the British, I want to win the British title more than anything, it, you know, it'd be a dream come true, you know, that right now, for me, to win the British is bigger than any sort of world titles at the minute, so I mean, uh, not overlooking Macklin or nothing, but, I mean, to get in the ring with a Kelly Pavlik would be unbelievable, you know. Now, Darren, one of the things you've got, as almost every single top British boxer, has, you've got that fantastic amateur ground, you know, the, the, the junior titles mm. through the seniors, Commonwealth Games 2002, tomorrow's the... Um, uh, GB, this Ireland and Scotland, sorry, oh, right, Scotland yeah. and Wales have come back in. It's all a little bit of a mess because it's on Satanta. It's, it's all a bit of a mess because, sadly, there's not four weights. But you will see on Satanta tomorrow night the full uh, fight, the full 11, 11, 11 fights. Do you follow the amateur game at the moment? You, you not still keep not your eye so on? much. You know, I'll still pop in the Repton Amateur Boxing yeah, Club now and again, see how they're getting on. But uh, not, not a great deal, to be honest. You know, obviously the Olympians and that, catch an eye on them, and whilst the Olympics are big, Big, big events are going on, but not too much anymore, to be deadly honest with you. You know, they've switched back to 3-3s. Three that's it, 3-3s, three three yeah. I think that's great for the pro game. Yeah, like, definitely. That's my gut feeling. I think there was such a difference in yeah. between the sports, wasn't there? It was, no, it was like there were two different sports. Two different sports, but now it's, you know, it, it, I don't think it would be as hard as for fighters to adapt to the pro game now. Just quickly, that's before I kick you off, and I love the shiny mm. suit, son, I'm loving that. Because last, last time you came on, last time you came on, you're a little bit rough. It was like, yeah. Oh, rough no, no, I mean. Like coming up, and you came on. What did you have on? Yeah, just a T-shirt and you came on with Johnny Rock and Roll, your mate was out there, do you yeah, remember the guitar yeah. seven? We look like a couple of roadies. Oh, you do like a couple of roadies? Well, we'll you look very you smart in. today, you look yeah, very good Security didn't want to let you in, I had to go down and vouch for you. But today you look fantastic. What's coming up, what's your summer look like, Darren? Well, I'm going to get back on my way next week, uh, chill out for a little bit, and uh, I'll be back in the gym, tick over and, you know, just wait, wait to find out when this fight is. I, you know, I'm really buzzing at the minute, everything's looking exciting, the future's bright, you know, so, um, yeah. Good. Can't wait to get back in there. Well, yeah, well thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good luck to say, you know that picture of Kritzko, they took our heads off, didn't they? They've, they've <laughs> no, no. painted our bodies, didn't they? I didn't want to say it. I'm pleased you said it. Yeah. It's the post, look. It's really <laughs> see, you two, yeah. was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Go on, I can see how we can get confused there. Thanks for joining no us. No problem. <laughs>